So we are discussing about the coffee shop, the Java. So we are going to make oh, one system about the coffee shop. So the menu, let's make only two menu for now. Because if we make a lot of menu, I think it takes a lot of time. So let's make only two menu. And then, yeah, we have some options. For example, the size. So the customer can choose whether they want to do the, we want to order the regular or the large size. And the option, yeah, maybe they want to take away or not or they want to put a whipped cream or not. And there are some limitations. Okay, so you need to put the limitation in your uh, presentation in your team project. For example, this system assume that the price is fixed. Okay? So there will be no discount. And we assume that the Americano and Cappuccino has the same price. Okay? And we want to save the total sales. And now there is also another requirement that the program should use a class file. So we use three different Java class. The, the first is the coffee shop to Java. It is for designing the GUI. And then the second is the order. Okay. So the order is one class related to the order from the customer. And there will be another Java class. Oh, sorry. I think this one is the same. Coffee shop to Java and coffee shop to Java. So the GUI will be in the coffee shop to Java. And also the client program will be in the coffee shop to Java. So we are going to access order to Java as the object. So one object means one order, or one object means one order from one customer. So we already did this one. Let's see. Yeah, I hope that you already have this design. So last week we already did this design. So we have the menu and then we can make the menu based on the model here. So the model can be changed. For example, I can make the menu Americano Cappuccino, okay. And you can add more later. And then you can have this one is the radio button. And this is the checkbox. And this is a spinner. And this is text field. We have button. Let's say I would like to increase the size. This is about order. And we would like to make a kind of report. And then this is the button for exit. Okay. I hope that you finished this part. So I can continue. So we already know what is the variable and what is the text. This is the GUI for the menu. And this is the GUI for the button. So you can order or you can make a report or you want to exit from your program. Now, I would like to explain to you about the radio button and the checkbox. So what is radio button? In the radio button, we can select only one. Okay. So for example, if I run this code,
if I want to order Americano, I need to choose whether I want to have the regular or large. But now you can see those two, uh, we, we can choose those two options. However, in the concept of the radio button, we need to select only one, whether it is regular or large. The takeaway is using checkbox. Okay. So the checkbox means you want to use this one or not. You want to use this one or not. But the size is like mandatory. So you need to choose whether you want to use regular or large. You need to choose one. You cannot choose both. But the option, yeah, you can choose both like this one. Or you can choose only one. Or you can, not, you can choose no option. So in this case, yeah. Multi selection is not allowed. Okay, so that's the concept of the radio button. In the checkbox, it is allowed to have the multi selection. So we need to ensure that a radio button is selected only once. So we need to use what we call as button group. When we create a button group, we want to make sure that radio button will be selected one time we cannot choose regular and large we can only choose one so i give this code you can copy this code okay. so copy boxa and then uh, let me just close this one and then you can go to the source now you can check where is the radio button. So you can see this is the checkbox. This is the radio button. Okay, here are the radio button. So this code, you need to make those two radio button, which is the radio button regular and the radio button locks into one group. So you need to make this code below the radio button. Okay, so here is the radio button regular. Here is the radio button large. So after this, I can make this code. But there is one error. What is this error? If you go to this, you can see that, oh, I need to import. So the button group is class. And we need to import this from the Java X string. So you just click, and then the error will disappear. After you have this one, you can try. After you select regular, now you can see that regular and large are in the same group. It means because they are in the same group, you can select only one. So for example, if, if you have another radio button, regular, medium, and large, for example. So, you can put those three radio button into one group. And if you have the, those three group, uh, those three radio button in one group, it means you can select only one among the three. Okay. So if you have another right, group, you want to add the uh, uh, D, B, D, and medium, for example. If you make this one, then it means among those three options, you want to select only one. So that's also possible. So it is not limited to two, but it can be many. So this is about the radio button. And what about the checkbox? So the checkbox is a yeah, multi-selection. So you can select many options. Now we are going to make one new class which is order 
the Java. So this is just only an example. So uh, maybe there are some limitation on the order. We want to make a class order to Java. So the class order is a class that contain the order information. And its row will be the object information. So let's say the so customer one order Americano regular. So as the size is R, R. Let's say we if we type regular, maybe it is long. So I just want to short it R. And then the type is take away. Yeah, maybe yeah. You can also make it like T. Okay, or take away like this. You can consider to include cream or not. For example, yeah, maybe it's so strange the Americano include the whipped cream, but yeah, let's just see an example for this one. And then I want to order two of Americano. And then the other customer want to buy cappuccino. And then the size is lots and the type is dine in. So it means if we have the checkbox, take out, take away. Uh, if I check that one, then it means I would like to take away. But if I don't check, then it means dine in. Maybe that can be the option. Kim, if I didn't check the checkbox, then there will be no cream. If I check, then there it should include the cream. And then I want to buy three. So this is an example. Then this is the object one and this is object two. And those are the attributes or those are the fields. Okay. Now we can see this class diagram. So I hope that when you make your final uh, when you make your team project you need to build this class diagram and i hope okay, i hope that i can see your class diagram in our meeting time okay if you can make this one before our meeting time yeah it will be good so please prepare the class diagram okay and also I would like to see this user interface. Okay, so even though there is no function, no problem. But at least you can show me that what is your possible user interface. Or maybe if it is difficult to make this user interface, you can design just by hand. Okay, you don't need to design in Java, but just try to imagine. Just try to sang sang other. Okay, so just try to imagine. Oh, I would like to make the user interface. Maybe yeah, I will make the uh, label, and then there is a combo box, and then I will have the radio button like this one, and then I will have the checkbox here, and then I have a button at the end of this panel okay so i will make a new panel like this one okay and so on so you can define the user interface by yourself okay okay so this is the class diagram of order the java we have one two three four five six seven so there are seven attributes or there are seven fields and you already know that we have the minus so it means all of them are in the private we have the method here we have one two three four five six seven so there are seven methods and we have one constructor so there's this is the code from uh, the order of Java. So let's copy and paste. Uh, 
So I will make order the Java. In my computer, I will use the section 09. So I will make one class. Do you still remember how to create the Java class? So we can just specify one package. In this case, I use the section 09. And then I will right click and then click new. And then I want to make a new Java class. And let's the name is order. Now you know that the Java class, the Java class that I want to create is only a class. So we do not need main method. We do not need the execution. So you don't need to include this one. Yeah, so in the first part in our course before the mid exam we always use this one we always click this one to create the class but now it is a class without the main method so you don't need to deal with this one so once you finish you have one method uh, sorry you have one java class which is order now you can just copy and paste. Let me copy this one. Let's keep the section 09. So you can keep this one because it is the folder name. But yeah, it depends on you. What is your folder name? So in my case, the folder name is section 09. And I have the order now i have those three uh, sorry one two three four five six seven so i have seven uh, attributes i have seven fields the first is the name yeah maybe this is to indicate the menu which is americano or cappuccino and then this is the size take away it is boolean so take away is true or false Character is a size, so it can be R or L, else R or L. Cream is Boolean, so it means true or false. So this one also true or false. For the day, yeah, it is integer. Now we have final. What is final? Final is to indicate the constant. So we know that the price of the menu, it will be always the same throughout the period. For example, you will keep the price same in one year or two years before you increase the price. So we can make it as a constant. Now we have one constructor. Okay, we call this is constructor. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five parameters. So here we want to define each of the variable. And then you can copy. The other, this is the page number two. So in the page number two, you can just place the code below the class, below the first code, and then you have the order of Java in the third page. Okay. Oops, something wrong. Oh, wait a moment. Yeah, this is not uh, okay. I need to check later whether it is a string or character. Or oh, hold on. If it is a character, it should be yeah uh, with a single quote. Okay. But I put it string, so it is an error. So if it is string, what can we do? We need to change this to. Double quote. 
So once you change to double quote, then it will be fine. So let's, uh, okay, I, I forgot what we do with this one. Let's just make character, okay? You can see the class from this outline. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven attributes and two of them are final. So it means constant. And then order is C. So C represent constructor. And then we have get name, get size string, get size, get tick, get cream, get quantity, and get total. So how to execute? So we need to fill in the events. So what are the events? Yeah, now maybe first, um, I'm not sure if we have enough time because in the report, it will take many times. Okay. So let's just deal with the two events first. The first is order and the other is exit. And now in the order button, okay, in the order button, uh, you know that in order to make this kind of event, you can just double click. So you can go back to the coffee shop the Java, and then you can go to design. You can have this button order. So you can double click. Now you will go to your Java code. So in this order button, you need to define what are you going to do. So for example, I will use this one. So I copy and paste and put here. Um, now there is one big issue here. Uh, yeah, everything is error <laughs> because I guess uh, we are not using the global. Hmm. I don't know why, why it is not the global one, but okay, let's see one by one. Uh, the combo box. Yeah, the combo box, uh, you can just change it to the upper part, okay? So like last week, I guess there are some students who have the issue with this one. So you can make this one as private. Okay. If it is private, then there will be no access from other. If you don't put the private, then it will be open to other class to access this one. Yeah, maybe for now, for easy, uh, for easy implementation, I will avoid the private okay. because I don't know why there is why there are many errors here. Usually, when you create the first design, it will be automatically in the general variable. But now they are in the local variables. So I cannot change this one. So you need to do one by one. For example, the regular button. You can put here. And then the Radio button regular, and you can also put here. Oh, this is the regular button. So we have the radio button large. Okay. 
and then we have the take away whipped cream and spinner. So all of them. Okay. Take away. So I will just cut. Okay, and then put here. So this one also whipped cream. So I need to get this whipped cream checkbox of the whipped cream, and then cut and then put here okay. and then the last one is the spinner okay, so the spinner also cut this one and then put here okay everything seems okay now but we have another issue which is about order Okay, so we need to make this order object at the first time and then we have sales so we need to also define this one so in the yeah, in this top of the powerpoint i give you for example the private order with big o order with small o and then private integer sales and you need to put in the top of your code so i have the private order order and then i have the private uh, integer sales okay so every errors now it becomes disappear so here I want to create a new object order, but I will define this order later. So I will explain this in this statement. So every order will be the order based on the name, size, T, C, and quantity. Spinner. Oh, why is spinner is wrong? Oh, I didn't put spinner here. Yeah. Oh, I already heard this one. What happened here? Cannot cast from object to integer. Hmm. Quite interesting. Maybe I don't need this one. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I think because of the updated of Java, so in the first time I use integer. So this integer is not available now because this spinner requires the class of integer. So the class of integer should be in the big I, like this one. Okay. So please change the spinner part with this one and then the last one is about the exit okay so you can just copy and paste the system.exit so you can go to the design and then double click on exit and then put here system.exit here okay i guess i will continue uh, I will continue about this order. So if you want to run, so if you want to run or run, then for example, I choose the regular. I do the takeaway. I have one. When I just uh, when I click order, then you can see that the price is three thousand. Okay. Okay. I will continue again on Thursday about this one.